Hi, this is Eric from Cub Scout Pack 62, and welcome to our Book Gnome activity. And this is part of our Back to School Adventures. The Book Gnome is really just a fun activity that you can do to make a bookmark so that when you're reading your books, you know where it is that you left off. And basically all we're doing is we're making a gnome and that goes onto a paper clip. And this paper clip will clip right onto the page that you're on in your book so that you have a fun little gnome sticking out of your book. It's double-sided, so you can, it's a little bit hard to see on this camera, but uh, you could actually color it different colors on both sides, make it any color that you want. And it's a fun project, so you can make as many of these as you want to put your bookmarks in all the books that you're reading. So let's go ahead and get started. If you are uh, doing this, a book gnome project with Cub Scout Pack 62, we'll already have these cutouts made for you and that's just to make it a little bit faster and easier for you. If you're not attending one of our back to school events, then you can always print out one of these papers and what you'll need is you'll need scissors in order to cut out all of these book gnomes. You'll notice that they face, uh, they're mirror images of each other and you need a mirror image set of book gnomes in order for them to line up properly when you're making this. So uh, make sure that you're if you're cutting these out, making sure that you cut out mirror images and also organizing your workspace in a way so that you have uh, two mirror images of each other. The other supplies that you'll need for this is glue, you'll need paper clips, and then you'll need art supplies for decorating. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to use the uh, cutouts that are already made. Um, if you don't have these, if you're not attending one of our back school events, then you'll need to cut out your own. Uh, but we'll just go ahead and use these that are already cut out. And the next step after you cut out your book gnomes here are to decorate them. So I'm going to go ahead and make an orange nose here on both sides. And normally you want to leave the beard section white, so I'm just going to decorate and color the hat section. So let's see, I have blue. I'm going to go ahead and make this one blue down here. And you may not be able to see it as well on, on the camera here, but this is actually coloring just a light blue on there. I'm going to, uh, let's see what color we have here. This is more of a purple. And on here I made two different sections, so you can put at least two different colors on there if you'd like. Uh, let's see, I think over here I'm just going to make this red. fun thing is you have two sides which means you can do two different sets of colors or you can make them match however it is that you want to make your book gnomes is fine and I think let's see I think we'll do blue down here and that's basically it so I have I'm coloring the hat and I'm also coloring the nose and now I'm all set to go ahead and put my project together already. So uh, what I'm going to do is just flip one of these over and take my paper clip. Uh, make sure that you pay attention to where uh, the rounded edges on your paper clip are and put this in your gnome and maybe only go halfway in the paper clip here uh, because you need a little bit to go in your book and you do need a little bit to go in uh, to the gnome for stability. And now I'm just going to go ahead and glue this entire section of my gnome. Try to make sure that you get all the way into the end of the gnome. Try to get the uh, sides if you can. Just kind of spread that glue all over so that we get a nice good seal on there. And of course the paper clip is raised up a little bit so you may want to put a little bit of a, a little bit extra glue in there in order to uh, make sure that the paper is getting glued together. Okay, so I have my glue and now just take the other side, try to line it up the best that you can, 
push it down, get some of that extra glue out of there, and try to push down on the edges. Those are, those are the parts that are probably the most important, is getting the edge. Just try to get a really good glue on. And that will take a little bit of time in order to dry. But you can see we lined it up pretty well. So when you flip it over, it's lined up pretty good. Uh, that'll take a little bit of time to dry, so you can go ahead and set that aside uh, for this video. You can see I have one that's already been made, and again, basically all I'm going to do is take my uh, take my book gnome here and slide it into whichever page I've been reading, and now I have my book gnome telling me exactly where to go in my book. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this fun project with Cub Scout Pack 62, and this is part of our back-to-school adventures. We hope to see you on the next adventure.